What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of Crestoria video. So, if you haven't been paying attention to me on Twitter, I definitely recommend, one, you follow me on Twitter. Um, I will put the link to my Twitter down below. I will also be putting the link to the Tales of Crestoria beta APK down below. Now, this is only going to apply to you if you play on Android. You have to be on an Android phone in order to do this because APKs don't exist on uh, iPhone. This beta is... Uh, Android exclusive and this is the only way you're going to be able to download it as for the time frame I don't know how long this is going to be live for all we know the beta could go all the way up until release And then they just reset everyone's progress the day before or this could just be like a five-day thing But we are gonna hop in and we're gonna check everything out I already know some stuff because there were people who got in early and Kind of showed off some of the stuff and there's some surprising stuff, but we'll go over it uh, as we keep going, I do want to mention at first something very, very nice. The SSR rate for summons will be 5%. That is very, very good. It may seem low to some people, maybe if you're new to gacha games or whatever, but 5% um, is the same rate for getting a mirror jar in Tales of the Race. So that is a very, very good number. If you think about it, you know, a multi is 10 units. So you're roughly getting a 50% chance at an SSR per multi. So we're going to hop in. Uh, we're not going to waste any more time, and <laughs> I'm really excited. Uh, what, what? <laughs> oh, man, I am so excited. But between seeing Lloyd Spear here tonight and this, um, this is great. I don't even care that uh, we're not going to be able to carry our progress. For all we know, they could just be saying that, you know, to deter people from playing too hard. Um, we're just going to go with Pouty. I would put Muffet. Wait, can we actually fit... I doubt it. Oh, we can. You know what? We'll go with that. Uh, yes. That's the name I want to go with. Okay, yeah. For whatever reason, muffin is considered, like, a bad word. So, uh, it never lets me put muffin in my name. So, we're just gonna go with pouty. Alright. Uh, by the way, th I'm gonna cut any parts out that are, like, extremely long downloads, so... Other than that, this is an actual cutscene, so I'll shut up here. Okay, so now we're going to see the full opening. Let's see if we can notice anything new uh, with this. I'm going to be talking over it because this is a voiced uh, song and copyrights are a thing. So, um, oh, look at that. Oh, this looks so nice. Holy crap. Whoa, okay. Velvet Milla clearly not getting along. You see all the characters there, some of the antagonists. Ooh. I think I saw Jade there, uh, running through one of those rooms for a second. Okay, they're all fighting some beasts. Alright, Luke! Alright, we saw this part. Velvet. Okay, wow. Archie and Mogilu. Alright, they're new. Uh, Stun and Leon looked like a double attack there. Oh, uh, we got all the characters up there. Okay, so that was the full opening. There were just a couple extra scenes we hadn't seen before, so that's cool. Oh my god, the fact that I have this game on my phone is crazy. I don't care if it's a beta or not. By the way, I do want to mention, I will be doing the entire... As long, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with English-Japanese versions, whether they're going to be one in the same or separate. But as long as this game is in English, as long as it's up and running... I will be doing videos on the story as the story gets updated. I expect the story won't get updated super frequently, just because it is fully voiced. 
But um, I will be. I won't be doing it like I do with Rays, where I do streams. I will be doing these as uh videos. The only exception I might make is if like if we're at like the end of an arc, I might do that as like a stream. But uh, for the most part, they're just gonna be videos where we just go through it. Um, you know what? Just for the sake of the video, let's go through the tutorial. Um, because this video is basically just going to be the tutorial, and then we're going to go over what the, uh, like, the tutorial summon does and everything. Alright, so, basic attack. Okay, very cool. All the characters in your party act, the player turn will end, and the enemy will begin. Okay, so once you, there's no, like, you don't click end turn. Uh, you essentially just, uh, you just click all your attacks, and once they're all used up, it just switches. Um, during combat, you and your, uh... You and your party and the enemy's party take actions in a turn. Turn ends when all party members have taken an action. Okay. Uh, let's try an art. So that's the normal attack. So that obviously won't use anything up. Well, it doesn't even look like Kanata has any, like, TP or magic or anything. So let's see. Okay, Demon Fang, of course. The art button you just activate is darken. Now is there... Okay, so you can only use it so frequently. So weaker arts will probably have a shorter turn count, whereas more powerful ones will have a longer one. Um, yep, cooldown, got it. Once the number reaches zero, you can use the art again. And as you can see, there is a big download in the corner. So, that I'm gonna probably be waiting for quite a while. Uh, once the tutorial is done, before we can actually do anything. Hopefully, uh, well, we'll, we'll just see. Uh, arts have different cooldown times, so think about when to use them. Yeah, obviously. Um, maybe save the bigger arts for when you think you might be able to win. <laughs> So I'm confused. Is this before what we just saw or after? <笑>楽しいね。でも油断は禁物だよ。そうだ、クレス先生。俺もう次のステップに進んでもいいと思うんですよね。うん。ああ。うん。あなたは教えたことを真面目にやっているし、次のステップに進んでもいいかもね。やった。さすがクレス先生だ。ん？あれは。あれ、魔物じゃないですか？そうだ。よし、カナタ、僕もサポートするから、この魔物との実践をやって
The only thing I find weird is that we can't see our character's health numbers. I assume we'll be able to click on them if we need to look at numbers, but it would be nice to have their numbers actually on the screen, but I guess there's not really room for that. Okay, so we're gonna start with Cress. So this will be this will be the important thing to make sure you're just choosing the order correctly, because you might want to weaken an enemy first with one and then attack with another. Phoenix Dance. There you go with that. Cress's attack increased on the hit counter. Notice the number beneath it. Okay, so the more hit counters you have. So because Phoenix Dance has so much more in its combo, you're going to have that percentage up for when Kanata attacks. Which I'm sure is, yep, no, they want us to use Demon Fang. Which wouldn't really hit a bird, but okay. <laughs> Um, thanks to the damage multiplier, uh, you deal more damage with your powerful art. Um, and then they're basically saying use your hit count wisely, uh, so to make sure you're essentially maximizing your percentage increase in your damage output. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> Yep, now they're going to explain how Mystic Arts work. Uh, this is your overlimit gauge. Um, when, yeah, you can use a Mystic Art when it's filled up. Pretty simple. Um, and obviously you want to use it against an enemy that's weak against what you're using. Uh, as long as the Omer Limit gauge is full, Mystic Arts can be activated at any point during the player turn, whether the character is in question has taken an action or not. Uh, so that's cool. So now we're just going to tap it. Dark Blade. Very interesting choice for a name. It didn't look very dark to me. Yes. <laughs> And I think that's it for the... Oh my god, look how good this looks. God, this game is gorgeous. I'm never going to stop talking about how good it looks. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know about that. You can still learn stuff from people weaker than you. Obviously, you can tell it's a beta because even the text is like having trouble like loading fully on the screen. Plus, uh, there's probably thousands of people trying to play the game right now. とにかく剣の鍛錬に終わりなんてない。満身せずこれからも頑張ってほしいな。はい、もちろんです。俺はもっともっと強くなりたいんです。みんなのためにも。みんな。オッケー、いや、this <笑> あなただってまだ子供なんだ。俺はもう子供じゃありませんよ。ちゃんとみんなを守ってあげられます。うん。そうだね。このまっすぐさは彼方のいいところだ。優しさも正義感もこの子の。So <笑> どうしたんですか雑貨屋のとこのばあさんが頭を打ちまって意識が戻らないんだ。おおガード。すぐに手当てしたいんだが、医者の先生は別の休館で手が空いてなくて。わかりました。僕が行きます。応急処置くらいは
すぐ白状すると思うがちょっと待ってください今の本当ですか犯人のああかなたくんなんだ君もいたのかあそこには一人問題児がいるだろうナッシュだったかあの子は村の作物や雑貨をよくちょろまかすからねおぼいその感じで今回は金を盗もうとしてもみ合いにでもなったんじゃないかってみんなそれって決めつけじゃないですかナッシュはそんなひどいことは絶対にしませんよおぼいフレス先生俺すぐに修道院に戻りますナッシュの無実は俺が証明してあげる分かっただけど修道院までの道は魔物も多い決して気を抜かないでくれはい Alright, well, there's that. It's so good. Very interesting. Okay, yeah, now we gotta get ready for the rest of the download here. So I will be back when this is over. Alright, and we are back because it's about to finish up here. It only took about 15 minutes, I would say. Um, while this was going on, I did do some, um, I did some research, I looked in the Discord what people were talking about, and, uh, a few things to note, um, we'll talk about when we get to the banner and such, and we'll show it off here in a minute. Okay, this concludes the tutorial battle, now we're gonna get over to our summons, but what I wanna say here, um, yeah, we can meet a character from an Tales game, alright, go to summon. Summoning allows you to require memorial stones, mana-based crystallizations of powerful feelings of and memories. Uh, certain memorial stones will cause a character to materialize and join your cause. Um, so yeah, so there's memoria stones and there's memoria stone in character. So like this Carol over here is just a memoria stone, so you just equip it for a stat boost. But then there's obviously Crest over here who's an actual character. So it's kind of like equipment and characters in the same one. But uh, it is what it is with that. Um, now they'll explain how they work. So you can equip Memoria Stones to other characters. By the way, for my choice SSR, I'm definitely picking this Saray if I don't pull a if I don't pull him in the uh, multi. Um, so there's that. So we provided you one time opportunity to summon your favorite uh, your favorite from a lineup of Tails characters. So let's take a look. Also, do we choose for? Oh, okay. So we choose. I thought we were going to get an actual multi. All right, so we are going to choose... Uh, I wish they let you do a pull first. Um, so let's go over all the characters here. So we got Cress, we got Stan, And by, by the way, this will probably be the banner when the game actually releases. So keep in mind, these are who you're going to get to pick from. So Leon, um, you've got uh, Raid, Luke, Yuri, Kanono, uh, Earhart, Asbel, Mila... Saray, Velvet, Archie, uh, and then it goes to SRs. You're allowed to choose an SR, I guess, uh, but I don't know why you would. Um, for me, Saray is my favorite character in the bunch, so we are going to go with him. Uh, I guess give me uh, the Dawn's Guidance Saray. So now we're going to see the animation. So what I wanted to say is uh, we'll go over to it in a minute. But uh, can we see, is there a rainbow animation? Okay, so that's gonna be the animation you wanna look for when you're doing multis, or just summons in general. And then you can see it's a rainbow stone. God, that's so freaking, okay, I got a screenshot of that. That is gorgeous artwork. That smile, though, <laughs> it looks a little off, but that's okay. Um, okay, so we get the Memory Stone as well, so that's what you'll equip to characters for that boost. And then we also get the character there. Um, okay, so now we're going to add the character to our party. Okay, so our party lineup is over here. So we get one more character. Boom. Uh, adding characters to your party. Um, trying them as a sub member. They'll join battle when a main member is KO. So yeah, that's pretty much how it works. You'll have your four characters, and then you have your two subs in case you lose somebody. 
Um, so let's see, critical damage 75% up to sword types with this Saray. So obviously, you only want to use this on sword types. So you won't you won't throw this on. I mean, you could throw it on for a stat boost, but normally you're not going to throw this on like a velvet or something. Okay, so yeah, right element and right type. That's how you wrap it up. We'll wrap up the... Okay, talking about substones. One option you have is to equip Memoria Stones to your characters, but you can also use them as substones. The power of your equipped substones will give a boost to your entire party. Okay, so that'll be important. Keep in mind that your substones will become a critical factor in partying, or powering up your party. So you can have all these... Okay, so the more you have of like the same element or whatever... Um, we'll boost it. Uh, same type bonus, all that good stuff. Um, your bonus will, oh, with each matching type. Okay, so the weapons matter too. Um, you can click the auto select button. That just does it. Uh, let's take a quick look through clearing quests. Okay. The story is composed of main story and side story, which will provide an enjoyable blend of story segments. Uh, and battles. Limited events give you a chance to fight through special scenarios, so those will be like regular Tales of... Hi, Lloyd. You're not in the game yet. Uh, there are tons of quests out there, so proceed through the story to unlock them. Uh, making progress, train, play quests, earn rewards. Pretty simple stuff there. Let's go back to the home screen. And I assume that's it for the tutorial. Finally, let's look at customizing your home screen. Okay. Home settings. You can edit your home settings, illustrations of the... Okay. So this is what they're... Okay. Home screen, backgrounds. Let's go back to the home screen. Congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. We have a gift for you in the gift box as a reward. Um, if you... Uh, okay. Push notifications, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, yeah, let's just download all real quick. This is only 100 megabytes. So this will give me a chance to talk about what I wanted to say. So... The way that limit breaking and stuff works. So it seems like the way dupes and stuff will work. So dupes will give you permanent stat increases to your characters. And it'll increase your mystic art level. But limit breaking your levels, you know, getting your character all the way to level 100 for SSRs. That is completely free to play. Uh, you farm materials for that and you just do that. So I'm very happy about that. I guess you could kind of see it sucks a little bit because... Um, it gives permanent stat increases, so someone with a 4 out of 5 Saray is going to have a, a much stronger uh, unit than a 1 out of 5 Saray, but I feel like even with no dupes, you probably will be just fine. And plus, with this game having 5% rates, um, the odds of you getting dupes as time goes on will be fine. Oh wow, so we just have a... I, this might actually go for the entire time until the game comes out. Um, you know, they said on the Facebook page that data would not carry over, but they never wrote that on the, uh, what would be the point of a login bonus if you're going to reset it? Okay, well, we'll see what happens. I'm probably going to play this. Okay, so let's read all this. So, the open beta, we're undertaking open beta to verify server load times, gameplay balance. Um, oh, okay, so the time frame, oh, it's only, okay, so we barely get any time. We get like five days. Uh, players can make use of the in-game content to be included in the official release. However, such content, such as a shop function, will not be available, obviously. Timeline. Uh, Friday, May 8th from 2 a.m. to Wednesday, May 13th to 4 a.m. So, uh, pretty much this time on Wednesday, the beta will be down. So, you have, you have roughly five days to uh, play. We have the weekend and the beginning of next week. It will not... Okay, so it says it here. It will not be possible to transfer play data from the open beta test to the official service. The version of the application installed to the beta cannot be used once testing is... Okay, so this ba this app is going to be useless once this is over. Please be aware that we did not provide any support for... Okay, yeah, yada, 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 issues, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, so use the main menu if you can't find the screen you're looking for. Uh, swiping down an empty part of the... Okay, so... That's cool, you can just kind of look at it right here. Um, okay, so what I wanted to go over real quick, let's go in here. Uh, maybe it'll be in Memoria Stones? Okay, so here's this. So, refining Memoria Stones. You can use, you can refine to increase your Memoria Stones level. Refine requires a Memory Stones and Memoria Stones and Gauld. Um, so it looks like maybe you'll use up 
uh, other... So the, these Memoria Stones. Wait. Uh, you can usually find a... Let, let's see what that looks like here. Okay, so... There's Ascend. Ascending will increase a Memoria Stone's level cap as well as the Memoria... Okay, skill level, so... Um, okay, so there's that. Oh, so for Memoria Stones themselves, you do need dupes. Um, which, obviously, we do not have any for that. Um, and then it said something about Refine. Let's see what happens when we click Refine. Okay, so refining is essentially just leveling the Memoria Stone there. Okay, let's go to characters now. So, increasing the level cap of the stones requires dupes, but I think for characters it's not. Um, Awaken. Awakening will offer a huge boost. Okay, uh, Awakening requires Memoria Stones, items, skills, and gall. Fully Awakening a character will unlock an Awakened skill. So, okay, so that's for Awakening, but what about Ascending? By using Ascend, you can increase your character's level cap. Uh, okay, so that's what we want to... Okay, so we can increase... So his normal level uh, is 50, and by Ascending, you can go 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Um, so Ascending is what's going to be very important to us. Awakening, uh, which, as you can see, Bolt Tempest is his Mystic Art, so you need to awaken that uh, six times. So you would select a Memoria, you would click this. Oh, but wouldn't that waste it, so then we wouldn't have it? I don't want to... You know what, this might be a good time to kind of test that, but... No, you know, we're going to hold on to it for now. So I think that's probably how that'll work. So you would click a Memoria Stone you want to waste... Um, but obviously we have that as an equip for him right now, so we don't want to waste that right now. And then let's see about SRs. What can they do? So SRs cannot awaken. Uh, it looks like they can't use uh, dupes, um, which makes sense because they don't have Mystic Guards. But you can awaken SRs, so if you wanted to uh, increase their level, which early on will probably be pretty useful. And then we have our support party lineup. So if someone uses our character, as you can see there... Um, you can set a main stone for each element, which I love, I love, I love, I love. So, Saray being, uh, wind, boom. Or you could even just, you could even just click auto, and there you go. That sets that up right there. And I think that's pretty much, let's see what's in the gift box. Or, nope, I didn't mean to click sales. Yeah, I know, maintenance details. So this is just the open beta test uh, stuff right here. Get to claim a bunch of rewards here, which we have 3,500 gems now. So I think we'll do one more multi, because I want to see how everything is going. Okay, so, so these are for the tickets. Whoa, what? Oh, so this is for Arena Summon. So there's going to be a Memoria Stone Chrome. So is he not a character? He's just a... Arena summon ticket. No, he's a character, I think. Yeah, he's a character. So we can get Kronos day one? What? Kronos isn't even in Rays yet. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, so Arena... I'm guessing the Arena is going to be like a tower mode or something. It looks like the friend point summon will be used to get all these materials. It looks like we get a free multi daily. Um, so as you can see there, there is all of that. Um, okay, so we got that. We've got our 10 tickets, so I think I'll use... I mean, it doesn't matter. There's no reason to save it. I mean, everything goes away in, uh... By the way, one SR guaranteed per, uh, multi, which is very, very nice. So let's look at the details for... Oh, no, I meant to look at details for the banner. Uh, let's look at rates... So, SSR is 5%, SR 20%, and Rare 75%, and then the 10th unit has a 90... It, it, the 10th unit will be an SR or SSR. It's guaranteed to be one or the other. Um, and then, as you can see there... So, pretty much all the units we just picked from, except the main three, Kanata, Mizella, and Vicious, their SSRs were... Oh, Aegis! Aegis is here, too. So, there's only four of them there. I guess it depends who's appearing in the story early on. So, there's those... But uh, let's go ahead, let's do these summons. Let's see what these tickets can give. 
get a character for the first time, you get an, uh... Oh, okay. We'll just use all ten. Screw it, why not? We'll see how the animations go for our luck. So I expect this is what we'll get probably day one as well. We'll get, like, ten tickets and then enough for, like, a full multi. Oh, well, we're getting a, uh, SSR. There's an SSR there. I don't know what blue means. Blue might be rare. Melchior? Okay. Carol. So they're just throwing heroes and villains. Okay, Hubert. Simone. Okay, they wrote Simon, but okay. Uh, Tear. Patty. Alright. Gar. Who is it? Oh, we got Kanata. Alright, we'll take it. Watch, I'm gonna get super lucky with these summons here, and then I'm gonna have no luck. So I think for re-rolling for the actual game, I'll probably uh, <laughs> try to re-roll until all three of my pulls. So I walk away with three SSRs. But Kanata, very nice. So it looks like all of these that I pulled... Oh, hi, Zelos. There's a Symphonia character. So it looks like all these... Other than Kanata, it looks like the rest of these are just stones. Oh, they have Simone written correctly there. They just didn't on the summon page. That's weird. Okay. So yeah, only one of them was a character. The rest are just equips. Um, okay, so there's that. I don't think we have one of these tickets. Yeah, we don't. Um, so now let's just do a multi here and see what we walk away with. And that'll be it for the... I mean, it's a long video, but this is probably the only video I'm going to make on the tutorial. Um, I think the rest of the stuff I'll wait for the full game. Oh, nope. We're getting shafted here. But uh, hopefully we at least walk away with the character. Okay, I don't know you. Okay, we got Chester. Meredy. I wonder if there's going to be fake-outs in this game. Okay, we got SR Mogilu. I know that's a character. Okay, they literally just took those lines from Berseria itself, so that's pretty good. I don't think... Uh, Shigure, how ironic. I don't think any rares will actually be usable. I think the actual characters will just be uh, SR or higher. Hi, Lenar. I hate you. I am currently playing Legendia and... Well, I hated him. I guess past tense. Suzu. Okay, and who's our last one going to be? Okay, Philia. Okay, and Philly is an actual character. Very cool. Save that. Memoria Stone, that exceed capacity will be sent to your gift box. Okay, so if you run out of space. Um, okay, so that's for that. So we have two SSRs. We walked away with Kanata and Saray, which is light and wind. So that's pretty good. Um, so now what I'll, what I would just do if this was the actual game, um, I would go first to support team. There you go. We got Mogilu up there as well, which I actually only have four characters if you really think about it. So getting characters seems like it's going to be a lot harder. Um, oh wait, where's party lineup? So that's more or less, so those Memoria Stones on the side, as you can see, will literally just be used as stat sticks. So, um, pulling units will be a lot more difficult uh, than it originally seemed. So we got Awakenings for... Okay, so it looks like you can train these with just these EXP books. And then, I'm just double checking for, you know, the last kind of thing before we get out of here. Um, so, Awakening your uh, art... You need dupes for. Uh, you need to select a memoria and do that, but we're not going to waste that because why waste an SSR materia? Or whatever you call it. And then ascending will be free to play, so that'll just increase our level cap. And then awakening 
uh, for these stat increases and what have you. Um, incorruptible soul. So that's just a skill, so it's defense up. Okay. Um, what does it mean by max? Well, it's more stuff we're going to learn as we go on. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to keep playing this for a little while. And then I, I'll, you know, like this story stuff I'm going to play through now. But we'll go through it again. Oh, by the way, there is missions. So let's see what the mission tab looks like. Um, it looks like titles. Just obtaining stuff there. So that's cool. Dailies, all that good stuff. So, this is all very exciting. Very exciting to have the game on the phone. So, um, since the beta ends on the 13th, I will assume that the 13th of the following month will be when the game actually comes out. So, if you are able to play the beta, let me know what you guys think down below for sure. Um, I'm going to learn as much as I can about the game moving forward, like the arena. Um, arena, we have to be at Chapter 2, so I don't know if we're going to be able to unlock that here. And then there's obviously the raids there. I, I assume the arena is probably going to be... Well, actually, we could probably check in missions. Um, let's see if there's anything. Okay, gold, refine. There's a lot of stuff for dailies. That's going to kind of be annoying. Train a character every day. I don't know about that one. Uh, clear all the weekly quests. Win 10 raids. They spelled grade, grade wrong there. Okay, so I'm not really seeing anything for, uh, for, oh, win ten times in the arena. Ah, uh, I don't know what, we're gonna have to wait to see what the arena is. If I end up making a video on the different game modes, um, you will definitely see it there, but, uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with everything Tales of Crystoria. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.